Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're ratted Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed ratted Hosker. The one you know as ratted Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed, a seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried... ...coming with us, but... Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. And the Song of the Sands, we called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. 
Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stones. <laughs> A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Brother, how was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Where the one Follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. Who is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim, and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. 
This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power. that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Ah! Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls? Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, all the souls began to gather out of those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. Smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Maybe you can throw those back at them! <laughs> Right side! Find you, watch out! Poor souls. Weird. They came across on light bridges. Now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Try it away. <laughs> Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alpine's light to enhance the temple. And themselves by the look of them. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Another of Cavassier's poems. More Light Elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Here! Get back! Ah! I felt that one, brother! Oh, my God. 
At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? Dark elves want the souls in the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's continue our ascent, yes? Give him what for? Above you, father! More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Gracia. I suppose I'll leave you two with that. on the other side. On us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yorg's yeah. counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. See us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. We can continue up this way. Come. Do what you must. Father, watch the orb! how they're making light bridges. Look. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? And here we go. <laughs> Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freya not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. Now. And we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? His choice. The wrong one. Well, I'll find perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. I'd wondered what became of Sparky Offer. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. <clears throat> Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door.
facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Oh, the light of Alfheim. Stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time. But I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now. United by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. 
She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Gro's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Nasty hit! You alright, brother? Incoming! 
Down here. Quickly now before more arrive. This way. We need to keep moving. Really worked up. He's okay. Woke us a trance. Far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Ah! Hold on! Over here! You're chained!
Hey, Tear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Dark Elf Assault. How fortuitous. I'm so scared of fighting hell. Can't they just leave us alone? to get out of here. Keep 
pushing forward. Gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. the desert will keep. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I am already here, Mr. Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the time? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unusual as is this, so perhaps you could not. Already here, as it were. So... I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop with the stupid chime! Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know where I am already here, Master Kratos. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. 
I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive Dress. me. Dress. Eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But to use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. Better. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Was that a mask? I mean, just knowing they're gods makes me feel so much stronger. 
Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Kill something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let's go! Duma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 Whatever, 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 whatever. Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Uh. This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Am I?